the chair now recognizes the gentleman from Minnesota, Mr. Stauber, you're recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chair, for convening this very important hearing today. You know, under this administration, every community has now become a border community. The failed policies of this administration have forced Americans to suffer the disastrous consequences, no matter how far they live from our borders. It's shameful to see this has extended as far as our national parks and other lands. I proudly served my community as a member of the Duluth, Minnesota Police Department for over two decades, 23 years. I'm very concerned that the Biden administration's migrant crisis has impacted the safety of our law enforcement and our communities. Since the spring of 2022, over 100,000 migrants have arrived in New York City. And over that same time, the, the city manager describes and uh, the average response time for crimes in progress when people call the police, they're delayed and delayed. And some of the, sometimes it's violent crimes that are delayed. Councilwoman Ariola with the New York PD clearly overburdened with the increase in crime across your city. Are you concerned that the growing migrant crisis will further overextend resources for the NYPD? Absolutely. Are you concerned about response times for people that are calling for help? Yes. And, and so what effect will this have on the safety of your constituents? It will absolutely adversely affect the safety of our constituents and any migrants that would be placed on Floyd Bennett Field. You know, as a, as a, a victim of a violent uh, shooting myself, I remember uh, getting on the radio and calling for help. And help arrived within 30 seconds because I was in the downtown area. In my mind, when I was interviewed, I thought it was several minutes. When you need help by law enforcement in critical times, you need it now, not three or four minutes. And I'm sad that your constituents have to go through this because of this disastrous border policy. Uh, what are you hearing from your constituents regarding the increase in response time for those crimes in progress, for those small businesses, for those people that are walking and being assaulted uh, and uh, uh, robbed on the street? Absent the migrant crisis, we're hearing great concern from our constituents for those very reasons. We're always asking for more police to be placed at our precincts, more patrols on our streets, more beat cops on our residential and our commercial strips, and there, it's just not able to be done. How is, how is the morale? The manpower. How the is morale the morale? Is extremely low, Mr. Spencer. I imagine that hosting a camp for 2,000 migrants at Floyd Bennett Field in temporary housing will make it much more difficult for the Park Police and and NYPD to do the job. Can you explain the additional law enforcement challenges that will come with with the migrant camp at Floyd Bennett Field? Thank you, Congressman. <clears throat> well, basically right now, we're already struggling day to day uh, to, to meet our mission requirements with uh, what we do. Uh, Speaking of that, tell us your day to day duties as a, as a US Park Police Officer. And does migrant and refugee population management fall into the regular duties of US Park Police Officers? Uh, not directly, sir, but anything that falls on our jurisdiction in uh, the national parks and public lands that we patrol will uh, definitely be our responsibility. Uh, but our concern is our staffing level right now. Uh, over the last, for instance, over the last year, we've, we, we had 511 officers sworn total since last June. Uh, over that time today, we've hired 68 officers. We've only yielded 15 total because of our uh, attrition and our retention problem. So to that end, to, to answer your question, we have, like I said before, two officers usually patrolling that area. Uh, to add 2,000 migrants in, in a camp is going to definitely strain our operations. Do you think non-migrants who wish to visit uh, Floyd Bennett Field uh, do you think that that number will be diminished uh, once the uh, migrant population enters? I really don't know if that'll happen or not, sir. Uh, I do know that there is a youth uh, sports complex nearby. I do know that there's a, a, a child petting zoo and some other record, it's a, a playground. I know they do hay rides for children in that area. Uh, we, we are concerned about that. Finally, if the Biden administration secures 
our open southern border to reduce the number of migrants flooding communities across the country, including New York City, at a record pace? Will it help alleviate some of the law enforcement issues facing the NYPD and Park Police? I would agree that uh, the homeless problem in general, if it was reduced in our parks, would uh, definitely help out the law enforcement situation. Real quick, Mr. Chair, uh, we also have a northern border. Last year, we had uh, an incident up north where five migrants came over. We don't know where they, uh, where they are. Uh, they came across a, a northern lake, and the reason uh, we weren't able to apprehend them because our Customs and Border Patrol agents were ordered to in process, in their offices, in process, the uh, illegals coming across our southern border, and I yield back. Gentlemen, time has expired. 